you super awesome friends. I'm excited to share with you today a project we're going to do with some simple materials again like crayons, watercolors, marker, you can use black paint, and we're just going to do a little bit of drawing some different kinds of plants and cacti. But before we get started, let's begin with our mantra. So get yourself ready, remember to do the motions at the same time, and think about what's going to make you strong for today. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay, so once we have our materials collected, you really only need a piece of paper and then some drawing tools or some painting tools, whatever you wanna to use today, and I'll show you how we'll begin our composition. Let's get started. We're gonna keep our composition pretty simple today, but of course, as always, you are the artist and you can add any other details that you would love to try. So I'm gonna get, begin with crayon, and I'm just going to start by making kind of some U shapes, some upside down rainbows for some containers for my cacti and my plants. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pattern or something that repeats within that space. So I'm probably just gonna do, I don't know, maybe three to five little planters. So I'm gonna fill this in and keep adding my pattern to my planters till I have a really awesome baseline of containers for my plants and my cacti. totally leave your planters just simple like this but you can also go over the top with some watercolor or make your own watercolor that you'd like to try to kind of layer over what you've already started remember crayon and watercolor or anything water-based and oil-based is going to resist meaning those two things are not going to mix together but instead they kind of pull apart so this would be a great time to paint over the top with a little bit of color if you decide that's something you want to add to your picture <laughs> Once you feel really awesome about what your containers look like, then you can start adding your cacti and your plants. You can go ahead and begin right away with Sharpie if you'd like. You can even use black paint or black ink or even water down some different kinds of black paint that you have to make it a little bit more easy to continue a line. So you can use whatever kinds of materials you'd like and I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple by having the containers be brightly colored and the actual plants be more black and white. So I'm gonna just start sketching and even thinking about maybe practicing some first. So as you start drawing something, always begin with that center line of a plant. Then you can keep it kind of simple with a little line around the outside and see if you wanna overlap something so there's a plant leaf going in front of something else. If you're doing a simple cacti, you can keep it simple with that upside down rainbow line and then layer some cacti um, kind of patches together, adding those spikes, maybe even adding a little cacti flower. So practice your designs first before you get started so you can feel really awesome about what they look like at the end. Once you've selected your plants and your cacti that you're going to add to your project, then you can go ahead and work right on your final copy. As an artist, I kind of love the way that this brush stroke really shows up in my project compared to using a marker. But remember, you can decide the best tools that you think would work really well around you. Now, you can have your pots kind of floating on your paper if you'd like, or you can ground them a little bit with a shadow. And the best way to do that is to just grab a regular pencil and put a dark, dark, bold patch of a shadow right on the bottom of your pots. Then you can sort of let off a little bit of pressure from your hand and you're gonna make your little shadow look like it's starting to fade. Now use that finger and sort of just rub the shadow since it begins to fade a little bit away from the container till each one of your pots has a shadow on it. Now, of course, anytime we're going to ground something on our paper, usually it helps to have a surface that those items are on. Again, sometimes it's kind of an artistic choice to have something sort of floating in the middle of the paper, but other times we want it to make sense with how it might actually be sitting on a surface. So once I finish this background and I have these shadows underneath my pots, then I can add that horizon line. Now remember, the horizon line is where the sky and the earth meet, or in this case, where the table and the background are going to meet. And to do that, you can use any tool again, maybe a little bit of crayon or a marker to just draw a line in the background. So I'm gonna do my line a little bit further in the back here, kind of connected behind these little pots. And then of course you can paint this surface a little bit different color if you'd like to or paint just the background, but you'll notice that now it looks like all of the containers are actually sitting on the bottom part below my horizon line. That's it 
composition, my friends, of course your composition is going to look different than mine because we are different artists. So as soon as you're done and you feel awesome about it, make sure to sign it and put it somewhere on display to help spread that positivity. Now today for our motivation at the end of art and our meditation, we're actually going to do it standing. So stand up, plant your feet flat on the ground, and then remember to put that hand right on your chest and one hand right on your belly. Remember, you should feel your belly go in and out and your chest should stay pretty still. It takes practice for me too, to just relax my shoulders instead of trying to breathe like this, right? That doesn't feel so good. So let's just do three deep breaths today, one hand on your belly, and you can keep that smile on or open your eyes, whatever is most comfortable for you. Here we go. Hopefully you feel better with a little oxygen going right to your brain. Remember, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We'll see you next time.